Hi guys, welcome back. We're going to do a quick uh, test on gaming on the Umi Digi A3. Obviously, it's a budget smartphone around £70. It has this unknown GPU that I've never ever heard of before, the PowerVR Rogue GE8100. Now, also bear in mind that it's only got 16 gigabytes of RAM, uh, sorry, 16 gigabytes of storage, so you can be limited to the amount of apps you can download and install. I have managed to download Asphalt 8 and PUBG Mobile. Asphalt 9 is not compatible with this device, nor is Fortnite. PUBG installed. Let's see if it's playable. So PUBG uh, managed to download and install on this device, and it installed the update. The graphics were set to low or well smooth, and the frame rate is dropped down to low as well. I did have a brief uh, go on it earlier just to make sure before doing this video. Um, it is just about playable, so let's have a look and I'll show you what what I mean. So PUBG is a huge game and very very demanding. Fortunately, it does have a lot of settings to cater for these uh, budget smartphones. Where should we drop? Let's drop here. Now, don't expect a superbly smooth bit of gameplay. When I played it earlier, most of the, the glitches and the frame drops was when he was running at high speed. And through this sort of bit here, you can see it glitching a little bit there. But once I settled into the, the game I played earlier, it wasn't too bad. Oh, that was sprinting. Right. There we go. So just take a look, guys. See what, see what you think. You can really tell uh, the graphical settings there. They're smooth. They're not sort of sharp and detailed. Let's get some weapons, come on. I mean, I'm absolutely surprised at all that the um, that PUBG actually runs at all. Very, very surprised. There are they. I'm nearly dead. All right, let's start again. Right, I'm on solid ground. There's one of my teammates. What we got here? Pistol, is that it? I think you probably noticed a a few sort of uh, dropped frames and a little bit of lag here and there. He's stealing all my weapons. I want them. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised um, that PUBG is actually running quite well on this. Umi Digi A3. It's pretty darn good. What brightness am I at? Let's turn the brightness up. It 
it skipped a little bit there. Where is everybody then? Where's all that firing coming from? Let's switch to my shotgun. Oh, who's that? Yeah. I want him. That was mine. Oh, shh. Who on earth is that? Aha. Ain't gonna get him from there, is it? Oh, I knocked him. Ah, oh, you bitch. Why can't I just get a pistol out when you knock down? You bitch. Exit. All right, guys. So I think you can tell that the Umidigi A3 handles PUBG exceptionally well when you compare, you know, the what the specs are. It's a budget smartphone. Yes, you have to have, have, to, have to have it on low graphics and low frame rates. The odd um, dropped frame here and there. It can be a little bit laggy. But overall, it seems to run it quite well. Now, one game I haven't tried, Asphalt 9. I'll quickly try that. Sorry, Asphalt 8, not a 9. So, turning it on and going to the settings, visual quality is on high by default. So, I'm going to leave it there. Let's change the settings. That's better. Let's see how smooth this is then. So I don't think you can write off the Umidigi A3 for gaming. Seems to be handling this uh, Asphalt 8 pretty well. I'm happy with it. Super. Come on, just behind first place. Let's take him out on a half. Oh, shit. 
And looks like I've got it. So, there we go, guys. Um, Asphalt 8 didn't seem to have any issues there at all. Um, PUBG was pretty pretty average, but very surprised that it actually ran at all. Uh, phone is phone is a bit a little bit warm, not too hot. Like, like I said, Fortnite will not install or play on this smartphone. But just goes to show you that it's a seventy pound phone. You can still play PUBG Mobile on super super low settings. Asphalt 8 was on high quality settings, visual settings. So there's going to be a lot more games that you can play on this A3. So don't think because it's a budget smartphone and only quad core that it's not going to run any games. I've just proved that it can. So if you're on a budget, guys, um, I strongly suggest you take a look at this, guys. The links are in the description below. Any questions, please comment. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe. And I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.